Tonight, many Americans are now canceling some of their streaming services. Data shows about a quarter of subscribers canceled at least three major streaming services over the past two years. Jenny Bowens explains the new trend. How many streaming services do I have? How many fingers do we have? Seriously, I, we are on Peacock, Hulu, Amazon, Apple TV. Rashonda Pratt is a wife and mom of three who's trying to cut down on streaming services. $15 here, $25 here. But Rashonda is not the only one cutting back. Data from Antenna, a subscription analytics company, estimates an increase in monthly churn, meaning subscription cancellations or lapses. In November 2022, the monthly churn rate was at 5.1%. In November 2023, that number rose to 6.3%. We actually see this cohort of consumers that we've deemed serial churners. Brendan Brady, the media and entertainment lead for Antenna, says the churn rate is complex because many people who leave an app come back. Consumers are no longer forced into loyalty. In the cable world, right, you can't not pay for VH1 in one month but have access to MTV, right? You, that's just not something that was on the table. You sort of had all or, or nothing. But in a streaming world, you can have Netflix one month, Apple TV Plus the next month, and then add Max and then add Peacock on top of that. Rashonda says streaming is convenient, but she's pushing her family members to choose their favorites so they aren't subscribed to too many services. The people that we're buying the streaming product from now have to give us something that's worthy of us streaming. We can expect to see a lot more bundle deals and promotions from streaming services looking to keep and get customers. In Washington, I'm Janae Bowens.